Pay attention. Let me tell you something. We are at a time in our life when things are getting really, really hard. So we got to stay focused, okay? You know, the prices are going up so high on this food, on um, the clothes, on everything. The prices are marked up so high. Um, apartments now, a one-bedroom apartment, I'm talking about 700 square feet is running about $1,500. $1,500 in a good neighborhood. That's ridiculous. And we're not even mentioning administration fees and, and the application fee and, and the deposit, two times the rent. And how are you supposed to get an apartment at that rate? You got to have damn near five or $6,000 just to get an apartment. That's ridiculous. It's not right. Things are going up extremely high right now. And the interest rates are very high for buying a house. But I'm going to tell you something. Even with the interest rates being as high as they are, if you can buy a house, buy yourself a house. That way you don't have to worry about these interest rates no more. You don't have to worry about everything going up because your rent is going to stay the same. Okay? Get your mortgage where it's fixed and it will stay the same. Because right now the way things are going up, the poor is going to be poor. The rich going to be richer, honey. We are not going to be able to survive at these rates. And everybody out here trying to do things solo, this is a not a solo type of world right now. This is a take two incomes and make it happen type of world. This is the kind of world right now where people are moving in together just to make ends meet. I mean, Hispanic people have been doing it forever. They've been moving all in together, getting their money right, getting their, you know, credit right so that they can buy a house, so that they can buy a car, but they're doing that to beat the system. But, you know, sometimes you have to do that because that's what the world is coming to right now. We got to team up and make this happen together. You know, each one teach one. We're not every man for itself. If we're not in this together, then we're going to fail because right now individuality is not getting it. I'm telling you, you go to the grocery store and everything in there is marked so high. You're like, how are we supposed to eat? And then they want to talk bad to you if you need food stamps or if you need government assistance. Well, these jobs are not competing with the prices. I didn't get an elaborate raise on my job because of the prices going up, which I should have. That's inflation, right? So shouldn't I get a cost of living raise or inflation raise? Something, a market adjustment raise. I'm saying this though. It's very hard out here. You guys, we got to pull together, make a difference. If you can buy a house, buy a house. If we need to get out here and start marching to pick at these prices and say, hey, we're just not going to do this anymore, that's what we need to do. Because otherwise, we're going to get lost in this very expensive world, you know, with not enough money coming in. Oh, yeah, there's a job hiring in every corner, but how much is the job paying you? $11, $12 an hour right now ain't going to cut it, babe. It's not going to cut it. That's poor, for real. So that's for kids. So we got to get together and send some pickets up. We got to, you know, rally, do whatever we got to do to make sure that we can change this system because we're going to fail if we keep going this route. Thank you.